Right, Shalom, first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Har Chakwadash. Double honor to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you. Hopefully, like out there, Shalom, unto you. And brush your quiet with another video and just want to um, get on the hot topic because, uh, you know, we rejoice when we see this stuff happening, man. Are we rejoicing at death? We're rejoicing at the prophecies coming to pass. Okay, so don't don't mistake what we're uh, uh, trying to twist our words about what we're, you know, about trying to use it to demonize us, whatever. We know you got to do that. Talking about, you know, the, the, the people out there got to do that. But at the end of the day, we're rejoicing because it's the prophecy of the Heavenly Father that we believe in are coming to pass. Okay. And did he prophesy that? Yeah. yeah. He did. But World War Three, you the ones out there actually killing. We out here just prophesying about it and reporting on it to the people that the prophecies are coming to pass. All right. So anyway, um, on to this video, I just threw the hot topic uh, image over there, you know, just just something. But and this was from a few days ago. So don't worry about the captions particularly. OK just something to throw on the other side but i have to start here and i'm gonna just read down then i'm gonna play a very small clip um from hannity and then we'll uh pick up the rest of the video and it's because uh he he just want to lie to the end man and 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 the, the 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 chief house of e shall i say he he just the worst of the worst. He's the worst Edomite ever. And he, I mean he's an Edomite, so he's bad anyway. But he's just man, this man just just the devil the Bible speaks of, Satan the Bible speaks of in the, in the flesh, man. Okay, the fleshly version of him, okay? So um let me uh I'm gonna read down. I'm gonna try to go through uh read this uh through because there's a lot in this chapter going into this man and in his mentality. But this is how you uh <clears throat> You got to see it, right? It says, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. Okay, the, we're living by faith, man. Faith that these prophecies are coming true. All right. It says, yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarged his desire as hell, okay, insatiable appetite, okay, as well as um, he's he's proud, man. This, this man, the Most High, hates pride, and this is the most proud man on the planet. When I play uh, the Hannity, you'll see it, okay. And it's just, I'm just playing a small clip. The interview overall is pretty good. If you are in the know, you'd be steamed at at, at the angle that the media, who they own the media, who why would you not? believe that they're going to angle the media toward their their narrative okay it's always angled toward their narrative because they own everything okay because they run everything okay the most high has allowed them to, to rule the earth and they're they're just effing it up even rule it from our land all right and that's why the image is on the left anyway it says um neither keep it that home he's always gallivanting around the world trying to control everybody Okay, uh, saw a video and uh, they tried to angle it. But the truth is, if you wander into a land and then there's a war kind of break up, why the war break up? Because you're there. Okay, well, you were first facing persecution over here. And so you, you ran as a refugee into, into, into this land. Hey, guess what? That don't mean you can stay there. All right. I have a, I have a, um, a saying that I was... Uh, I thought about earlier an analogy if you will if somebody and this is the perspective i have at least uh if somebody uh if, if say you got in trouble and um you had to go down to the police station or whatever or be detained or whatever that, that part's not the important part but while you're gone somebody uh steals your car or or, or breaks into your house Okay, breaks into your house and now they live there. You come back however long, it don't matter how long, five minutes, 50 years, whatever it is, 
500 years, 5,000 years, it don't matter. You come back and somebody's living in your house. It's yours. You own it. They didn't change things around. Your neighbors really don't like them living there. They remember when you lived there, okay? And this man has just been a, a horrible neighbor, okay, the whole time. You go back over there and, and be like, hey, man, get out of my house. And this man want to fight you, okay? That's the situation in a nutshell, all right? They came in, moved in, and all of a sudden don't want to move out now. Okay, to the point that the whole time they've been there, there was supposed to be agreement. Okay, let them just get in there. As soon as they got in there, what'd they do? They've been up there trying to take it. Matter of fact, before I read this, the Spirit hit me on something. So before I even read this, when you go into the Apocrypha, Sirach, I believe it's the 12th chapter, um, toward the end. Um... Man, this is it right here. Um, yep. Let me see where it said it. Yeah. Oh, 12. Yep, right here. Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. He did that over there to them people in recent times. And he did it as an imposter run to us. Would you be just overjoyed if, if you realize somebody stole your identity? And then they just buying all kinds, of, just, just just ruining your reputation and just, just doing all kinds of crazy things with your identity. The power that you worked so hard to, 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 to have, they're just abusing it. Okay, that's what they did to us, let alone breaking into them people house over there and taking over. Kicking them man out, kicking that that man out their house. Well, here's the point: it ain't y'all neither one of y'all house at the end of the day. Okay, so don't get it twisted. But for for modern times' sakes, for you people to understand, this is the situation that it is. They was fully in there, and then they came over and moved in, and now they're pushing them out. Now it's down to where they're in a restricted area, and they control majority of the land over there. And now this is like the final push to 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 have the whole uh last little strip over there. All right? But the uh, of of the only land that they uh control themselves. So their armies and militias that ain't having it is standing up. What do you think happening or about to happen here in America? Certain things these people are about to band together and be like, "Man, I'm tired of this." All right? And I'm trying to keep it super vague, but you people should understand what I'm talking about. You can't really throw any real uh, buzzwords in here because now it's, it's super hypersensitive and anything you say will get your videos clipped. We got clipped off of something on the camp page for no reason. I don't even know if this is going to be able to go up on that page. But anyway, so I digress. It says, Set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. Okay? Stay the hell away from this man. Okay? It's a reason why he, he physically looks completely different than everybody else in the world. While his blood shows forth through his skin. Okay? It says, And at thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith at the end times. Now we got to remember this more than ever. Okay, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or at any as such as come nigh wild beasts? Okay, 15. For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. He ain't going to wait there with you. Um, yep, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. He will talk good to you, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Uh, he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Now, when I play this Hannity clip, you won't get to see how treacherous this man is. Okay, this is one man speaking, but it's the same perspective that they all believe. Okay, they talk that humanitarian talk. And you, when you watch the full clip, you'll see that, that they, they talk that, that, that uh, humanity talk. But at the end of the day, uh, they're always exempt from all the rules. They can do whatever the hell they want and not be found guilty. All right. 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, 
he shall uh, yet shall he undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his hand and whisper much and change his countenance. Hey man, why are you acting all different? Yeah, man. Matter of fact, you didn't you never deserved it. It's the type of attitude, man. You're gonna see how this man really gonna show his horn. That chief house is gonna show their horns, man. Okay? It's, it's, it's divided and this place is gonna fall. Now I'm gonna play the Hannity clip, and then I'll grab more precepts. Go back first to have a cook. All right, now let me play the Hannity clip. Yep. All right. So this is Hannity, Fox News, whatever. This is Cornell West and Alan Dershowitz. Okay. And you can just look at the facial expressions. Wait till you get in and see. It, it looks theatrical and they do this all the time. But you can hear real feelings, real emotion coming from, from behind what he's saying, watch, and there's a, there's, a, there's a small point in there. I'm going to point out when it gets there. So let's uh, let's watch. See, I want to hear, war I wanna hear you say. Anybody who commits war crimes are barbaric. I, I'm saying that explicitly, but I, I want I, you to say. He, uh, he said, anybody that commits war crimes, I'm calling them bar barbaric. But I want you to say, watch what he says. The Israeli Defense Forces are killing children. No, no. Are they barbaric too? No, no, are they, no, are they ever no, barbaric? No, no, no. If they talk. See, no. He meant that no. To his question, they're not considered barbaric if they're doing it, though. Okay, double standard. That's this. That's this man. That's this man. That's this chief house over there, man. Okay, that chief house of, of Edom, man. This is this is what they do. This is what they do. Amalek. This is what they do. Okay, man. Let me grab another precept that just hit me. Zechariah 11, I'm going to go straight to the point five, whose possessors, they possess us, okay? How do you know? Because they trade us and our um, and our um, uh, social security and birth certificates and all that on the stock exchange, okay? It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not, Okay? And hold themselves not guilty. No, no, we're not barbaric. And then when you watch the rest of this, he's saying they're not barbaric because they're defending themselves. They can do the same act another person can do, and they and they're not barbaric. I'm gonna play a little bit more. You know, this is this is for educational use. Okay. Fair use act. Let me grab it. Are no, they ever no, 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 no. If they target, no. if they target children, yes. Uh, have they ever targeted no, children? No, absolutely, never, ever, never, in, in, never in, in the in history years. have they ever targeted oh, brother, a child you got to deliberately. Get off the crack pipe, and, and, man, please, no, no, they <laughs> please. never targeted you don't think a child. They one innocent not person purposely. No. To 1948, no, not, not are purposely. they that pure? Are they that? You don't have to be very Come pure on, not to kill please. a child, not to kill. Oh. A are they that pure? I think I'm gonna name this that. Are they that pure? Are they that pure? Come on, get off the crack pipe, brother. <laughs> I love how you use that. Look. Hey, but this is that right there. And, and hold themselves not guilty, okay? This man can do no wrong. Are they that pure? They, can, they believe they can do no wrong, okay? All right, I'm going to leave that over there, and I'm going to play. I'm going to pick up reading. It says... Um, Yea, also because he transgresses by one his philosophy. Okay, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Okay, it says, Who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taught him proverb? Against him, saying, Woe is him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. And that's heavy debt, man. Just debt after debt after debt. Now, it's financial debt more than anything. When you look, it's there in the trillions, man. That's what's on record, in the trillions. Okay? But he also have done so much and hold themselves not guilty. They, they, they're the, they're the, it is, how does this the saying go? Um, they scream in pain as they strike you, something of that. Uh, 
you know, I'm miswording it, but there's something to that effect. Okay, that's them. Okay, they always want to, oh, anti, anti, anti the whole time, but not realizing, man, that, that they're the main one doing the most damage. Okay, same thing when um uh when you look up the Breakfast Club and Charlem Charlem um Charlemagne the God or whatever his name is spoke up to uh, uh Leor Cohen, he was like, Hey man, you know, you sure are benefiting off of black pain, you kinda a culture vulture. He goes, Hey, why people gotta eat? Yeah, but why is it our you know, but why the question is why is it our music that gotta how come you don't hold another? Well that's what I'm I, I control this music. So that's and that's what sells, and my people gotta eat. Okay, my family, my family gotta eat. Okay, he's not gonna tell you about the part where he he he's uh, um putting that vibration out over our people. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. Habakkuk it says, "Shall they not rise up? Or, yeah, suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them." Yeah, they had us for spoils, man. Okay, it says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that covet an evil covetousness to his house. And that's what they've done by wanting that land, by wanting our blessing. Hey, if you don't like the whole way the blessing's going down, man, too damn bad. Take it up with the most high. Okay, Yahweh, take it up with him. All right, it's our, it's ours, man. The land is ours, the blessing and the uh, rulership of the earth is ours. All right, and that goes back to uh, Genesis the twenty seventh chapter when Esau was uh, whining and crying about it. All right, and this is him trying to get it, and he wants to be in there no under under any means, and he, but he does it by violence. Right, it says uh, that he may set his nest on high. That he may be delivered from the power of evil. That he can't ever get in trouble, man. Okay. Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people and hast sinned against thy soul. Jump down. 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity. This is him. All right. 15. Woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink and putteth thy bottle to him. This is what he's done to us. I spoke about the music, but he does this all over. The moment you 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 call him on his BS, um, he, he tried to tell Cornell West that he when he was saying that he uh any children that 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 somebody is bar you know that kills children is barbaric, okay? But he's like, no, you're you're just sticking up for 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 uh, Amos over there, okay? You probably can't even say that word anyway. Said, I'm not sticking up for them. Don't you ever lie on me. All right, and that man will do that. He is, it says it in the um, Psalm 58. This man is a liar. For when he come out the womb, he, he come out speaking lies. Okay, and he put out them venomous lies, man. Okay, look at him. Anyway, it says, um, and maketh him drink, and maketh him drunken also, that thou mayest look upon his nakedness. Yes, yeah, sell you these philosophies that keep you away from your maker, man, that, that make you... Uh, 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 expose yourself, man. Okay, that 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 you're uncovered, uncovered by whom? By by the Lord, man. By the the the, the wisdom and the righteousness of of Yahweh by Shem uh, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou and let thy foreskin be uncovered. Is what he says to you. Just it's like, like it's all right to do. That said, the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee. And now we're we're beginning to see this turn. We're about, we, I mean, we ain't going to see it yet, but it's coming, man. That turn is happening. This is the event of what, that begins the turn, man. Okay? Yeah, all this other stuff has got to happen in between, but that turn is, is coming, man. We're watching the prophecies uh, uh, hit, and now we're going to start to see the turn begin to happen, man, where, where the cup is, is falling on him. And it's going to be on, on, on display for the world to see because everybody's getting pissed at this man. You, right now, it was always sympathy for him, but now people are, are like, "Nah, I'm kind of with, I'm kind of with the other guys, man. I know a little bit. I'm kind of with the other guys now." Okay, I see, I see what's going on. When you look at the stats, it's staggering, man. All right, reading on, it says, um, 
shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee, and the spoil of beasts, which made them afraid because of men's blood, and for the violence of the land of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Okay. That's good enough. All right. That's good enough. All right. So let's go to Joshua 14 and 1. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited. The real children of Israel inherited this land. Okay. Which are you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans? We're going to get it back. The Heavenly Father is going to put us back in that land. But he's got to get them out of there. All right, this is starting the events that are going to lead to getting them out of there and cleansing this out of the earth, man. Cleansing them out of the earth. America's got to go to, and the elect are going to get delivered out of the destruction of America, okay, through the chariots, and be brought back into that holy land once it's cleansed, okay? It says, uh, which Elias, uh, inherit the land of Canaan, which Elias are the priests, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, disputed for inheritance uh, to them, so that we were given this land as an, an inheritance. All right. All right. Isaiah 26 and 10. Uh, yep, straight to the point. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. This man will not cut a square deal nowhere down the line this is just not in him to do it he no matter if he has the wisdom of the heavenly father's books which you've had uh interpreters and philosophers break this thing down they know what's right they just won't do it okay in the land of uprightness ooh, where's that that's our land okay you know where that's at will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the lord okay all right, I'm not going to name it, but you know what it's saying. All right, in the land of uprightness, you know where that's at for you that are in the know. If you don't know, you know what's going on. You can add, put two and two together. Psalm 49 and 10, for he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Okay, he knows that's how the process of life goes. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So they've set up that they can continue to rule forever and ever and ever. Okay. And their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. They've named this place after themselves. That they can come right back into rulership of that land. They put it on paper and the whole nine. It's on the books. This is what they do. It's only going to take this huge fire the Heavenly Father's bringing the destruction with that's going to eradicate all of that nonsense, okay? And then he's going to put, with his power, he's going to put the people in that land. There's not a, a man, woman, or child on the earth that'll be able to stop the, the Heavenly Father's plan once he is, executes it by putting his own people back in the, where they're supposed to be, all right? Okay, Psalm 50 now. It says, but unto the wicked, the Most High saith, what should what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Because they took on the identity which comes with the book, which comes with the, the things that you're supposed to be doing also. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Seeing thou hatest instruction, this is the book of instructions. The people that were given that land in, in the book, in the wisdom, are the people that, that are supposed to be living by, by a certain rule of instructions. And casteth my words behind thee. And they don't listen to what the Heavenly Father's talking about. They just do what the hell they want to do. All right? Showing that they don't deserve to be in that land. Again, Psalm 73, verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They can lie and get away with stuff and still prosper. For there are no bands in their, in their death, but their strength is firm. They don't die like other people die. They don't have the same problems on earth like everybody else has. They're in rulership. They're not in trouble, as it says here. They're not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Hey, who can touch me? We know the, 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 the drill rap Lamech put down. Okay? I can kill and nobody can touch me. Okay? Where you think that mentality came from? It didn't come from us. We're a humble people. Okay, 
That mentality, he egged, egged us on to be prideful like that. The Most High hates pride. All right? It said, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. They own everything. And when Chris Rock told a joke, but it wasn't a joke, he said, they own things like the color blue. Think about that. They own the color. And that color is all around. Dyes all they own that color. Okay? When you when you let that wrap around your head, then you then then you'll understand. Let alone the lands, but they own colors, they own everything. Okay? They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. No, no, not if not if we do it. We don't we've never done that. And this on the history books in your own internet, in your own books, in your own libraries showing that you have done that. That you have done wickedness throughout the earth. They uh, they are corrupt. They speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Hey, they man, they talk bad about everything of, of high and, 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 and mighty and righteousness. The heavenly father, they blaspheme. They talk about his chosen people. They just say whatever the hell they want throughout the earth and everybody got to go with it. Okay, when you watch this whole thing, Hannity himself is backing this man. Okay, they want to uphold the system and the rule of these people in the earth. Okay, and one man can't even step up and just say what's right, and they bash him. And that ain't what Cornell West should be saying, even though that's not the point that I'm making. But he just tried to play what you tell everybody else we're supposed to, the angle we're supposed to have. But what happens? When you do that against them, when they're, when they're the, the persecutors, when they're the one, the uh, the plaintiffs, the ones that's doing wrong, now it's a problem. You can't even call them wrong. Are you really that pure? <laughs> right? Therefore, his people return hither, and water of a full cup are wrung out to them. Okay, they get everything, man. Everything flows right to them. Everybody else gets squeezed away from them and into their hands. And they and they say, how do the Most High know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Okay, his name is Yahweh. It says, behold, these are are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Did I have more after that? I think that was it. Yep. All right, I'll just hit this one right quick. Zechariah nine and six. And the bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of Palestine. Let's check it out. Hey, cause who's in those? Who's in that land? And we know that man's for sure a bastard. Why? Because he 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 has a fatherless spirit. Okay, a vagabond spirit. All right. Let me go grab some. There you see it. Okay. There's the map. Okay. That's that. All right. We'll close with Second Thessalonians chapter two. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, okay? So don't feel all sad when these things are starting to come upon this man. That's the thing that they play. They play it in the movies. They play it in, in the news. So no matter what, the narrative goes to where they're the good guy. And they deserve help. And they deserve mercy. And they, they, they man, that's all it talks about. But every no one else deserves it, okay? No one else deserves it. You wonder why certain people that actually have real life experiences with these people don't always have high things to say about them. Okay, about their character is what I'm really talking about. All right, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who is opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. He can do no wrong like, like the most high. Right. Or that worship that is worshiped and he any he rules and positions of uh, 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 power as if he was the most high. He can change the weather. He has machines for that. The harp and then so on and so forth. He can change uh, the prices. He can squeeze and make famines orchestrated. And man, he does all kinds of things, man. OK. That's why his pride is so high. OK. Or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. How is he sitting in the temple of God? Because he has his, his uh, one of his people sitting in the in, in, in the Vatican City, which they call the temple of God. Okay, it's known as the head church. It's the false prophet in, in Revelation, though. 
All right. But they sit there and they rule the earth from that position. Watch what the, the Pope come out and say. He's going to say something about this. He ain't just going to let that slide. He's going to have to say something and watch who he backs. Watch the narrative he push. OK, showing himself that he is God. You think he ain't getting in his, his instructions what to say? But this is what the, the spirit tell us. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withhold it, that he might be revealed in his time. And now is his time to be revealed as an imposter. All right. He is not that pure. Okay. For the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out the way. The most high was only going to let him go as far as he's going to let him. Okay. Until the most high sends his son to take him out the way. Okay. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And we are chanting this man right out of his rulership, man. Okay. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And we're doing it with the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua written in the Holy Bible in its proper spirit and in truth. Okay. Even him who's working, excuse me, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, okay, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Now it's talking about us now that believe in that bull, right? And for this uh, cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And this man's going to be lying, and our people, the two thirds, and the rest of you people are going to believe that lie. Okay, but the prophets and the elect are not going to believe it, man. We're going to stand firm on what we know and what we believe in the spirit of Yahweh Bajim El Shah. And it is, you are not that pure, and you will be taken down like every other man on the earth. If he'll do it to two thirds of his own people, he'll even do it to the wicked that you are. And with that, I'm going to close out. Lord, when it was edifying, give it all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bajim Yahweh Shah, Bajim Harachakodash. They belong to our apostles, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopeful elect. Until the next one, Shalom.